Hey, this is Josh at Fat Crayon Studios. Today we're going to do erasing and replacing an image in Photoshop. Um, there'll be lots of situations where you may need to clone something out and replace it with something else. So here's my workflow. First thing I do over in layers is duplicate the layer and name it the working image because we don't want to work on our master. I zoom in at what I'm going to be replacing and go to the clone tool. Slowly grab a point down here and start cloning out this car and the stop sign. You, know, you kind of have to look for a seam where the road is and look for something that's pretty generic up in the trees. And I'll just paint this out, finding a good dark spot because we don't want to leave that piece of sign. Then I'm going to come over and grab the seam on the side of the road closer, try and get this, this dead grass in here a little bit. Now, um, the road is kind of difficult because you can see that yellow line in the middle. So that looked like it wasn't going to work. Let's get a little bit of that line and then bring it on down in here and just slowly paint some of that shadow out. I mean, you're, you're, you know, your viewers aren't going to really know what was there, so you have a little bit of flexibility. We'll go ahead and paint this out. It's looking pretty good. Now I'll clone and get rid of some of this grass. Let's put some taller weeds in there. All right, and then hop over in the closer part. That's a good seam right there on the road, so we get a pretty good... Pretty good line to be able to pull off of right there. All right, the road's definitely, definitely easy. There we go. Tap it up and come down here. All right, paint out the road. Get a little bit of, a little bit of dirt to push it out. And then down in the grass, we just get generic grass and try and just cover that uh, well we got the shadow of where the stop sign was here that will come to play later but we just grab a little bit of this gravel and paint it right out there a bit of grass okay so now if you look at this image now we have a pretty good setup fit that on screen so the stop sign's gone so i'm going to go ahead and go file and open and i'm going to choose this yield sign that i brought in because that's the one i want to put in the actual image so i'm going to pull that yield sign over into the main composition go and lock that scale down and pull it in where i can see what's there now once you select it you apply your transformation go over hide your working copy so you can see the stop sign then drop the opacity down to about 50 percent um i change um I'll zoom in a little bit so i get closer to the sign then I'm going to go down, I try and find that anchor point and put it on the base of the stop sign. So then when I rotate, the sign rotates just like a sign would if it was leaning over. I scale it back down, put it in place here until I'm finally happy with it. Apply the transformation and fit it on screen. That looks like it's going to work. All right. So we're going to go ahead and name that layer yield sign. I'm going to go ahead and knock this up. Let's just make sure it's, yeah, we're going to go ahead and knock it up to 100%. Now, now what we need to do is erase the background. So we're going to do non-destructive editing. We're going to apply a mask. You see the button here and see the white? That's your mask. We can see it all, so it's white. So I'm going to go get my brush and start painting black into the mask, and you can see the image disappears. The information's still there, but the image disappears. So you can just paint it out with the brush or... You can grab your selection tool. Um, I like the, uh, the polygon tool here so I can make good clean edges. You can see it doesn't have to be perfect. I just work my way around this yield sign, go down to the angle, and then push it all the way down to the bottom so I can get that whole right side. Once all that's selected, I go back over to brush, make sure it's on black, and just paint it out real quick. Adjust my brush size so I can paint more of it quickly. All right. Go up, select, and deselect what I had, and then do it all over again. Back to the Polygon Select tool. Nice, clean, crisp edge. All the way down the sign. Cut it off at the bottom and wrap it around the rest of the image. Go select my brush and paint it out. All right, so now you can see the sign. There's nothing else there. I'm going to go ahead and fit that on screen and deselect it. So now we're going to go on over into layers. I'm going to enable the working layer, so the one without the stop sign, then enable the yield sign. So we've got the yield sign looks pretty good sitting there, but there's no shadow. 
So my workflow for creating, well, before we create the shadow, let's go ahead and clone in some of this grass down at the bottom to cover up the bottom of the yield sign so it looks like it's actually in place and gets rid of that smooth line. So what I'll do is I will come over and create a new layer right there and then clone and paint in a little bit of grass on the new layer. I don't want to paint it directly on the yield sign. I want it to be a layer above so I can get rid of it. Okay, so now I go to the yield sign, right click, duplicate layer, and go ahead and name it shadow. All right, I come on up into image, adjustments, and levels, and you can see our levels here. Go ahead and slide it all the way to the right and it fills it all in black. Then I go filter, blur, I like Gaussian blur, and usually about five is good for me. Let's see how it looks. Hit OK. So you can see it's an all black sign. When I go Control T transfer, pull down, my spot so then when I go to distort I can just kind of drag it so the shadow you have to look at where the sun's putting the shadow up on the other trees and match that up now it's still pretty dark there we go even when I drop it down it's a little clean so I'm going to just blur it again and there we go looks pretty good the yield sign looks like it's there it's matching the shadow and you've replaced the sign all right, this is Josh at Fat Crayon Studios. Check out my Facebook site and my website for new tutorials. And send me a message. I'd love to hear what you'd like to see.